Cyberpunk is a sci-fi genre that involves a lot of high tech along with apparently neon colors. So in this video, we're gonna talk about four cyberpunk motion graphic techniques that you can integrate into your After Effects projects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So I really wanted to create an After Effects tutorial on the cyberpunk style and integrate it with say motion graphics so you can take your projects to the next level. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. We'll be breaking down four specific techniques and without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's create something awesome. All right, as always, if you wanna follow along, you can download our project files for free. I will link them below. But in our first technique, we're gonna talk about how to create this cyberpunk punk type background, this little tech background here. Uh, so come here to our tutorial composition and all we have in here is a title animation from 100 title pack. Doesn't matter what title you use. So what we're gonna do is go up to layer, new, solid, and we can call this background and click okay. Make sure there's layers underneath your title if you have one. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to effect, noise and grain and add fractal noise. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is come here to fractal type and set this to turbulent smooth. Come here to the uh, noise type and set this to block. All right, let's set our contrast to 160 and set our brightness down to negative uh, 120. And this will give us a little nice range of contrast here, just like that. And then what we wanna do is come here to transform settings and uncheck uniform scaling. All right, then we wanna set our scale width to like 740 and we'll come here to the scale height and we'll set this to seven. And now we're getting these nice straight lines in here and it's looking good so far. All right, so what we wanna do, we have no animation in here. We'll add a keyframe for offset turbulence and we can move forward in time to the end of our animation. And we can grab say the X position here for the offset turbulence and just move it over. And this will give us a little bit of nice animation here nice and slow i like it then what we'll do here is come here to the evolution i'll click the stopwatch for that and we'll type in time asterisk 100 and now we'll have a little bit more dynamic animation in here so our fractal noise effect is done let's go to effect color correction curves and let's come here to the red channel and we can kind of just bring this over and this will create a little bit of a color we'll come here to the green channel uh we can slightly bring this over by a tad come here to the blue channel and we'll bring this down this will create more of an orangey type color in here and that looks cool. And one other effect I want to apply to our background here is go to effect, distort, and add an optics compensation. And let's set our field of view up to about 82. And make sure you check on reverse lens distortion. And this will kind of create like a sphere sort of feel to it. And that looks good. All right, for technique two, we're going to go ahead and create some glow effects that we're going to be able to apply later in the video as well. So what we're going to do is come here up here to layer, new adjustment layer. All right, and then we'll go to effect, stylize, and we're going to grab the glow effect. All right, that's it. Then what we're gonna do is go up to edit, duplicate, and that will duplicate the glow effect. And let's set our glow threshold down to 18% for this. And let's set up our glow radius to 120, nice. Then let's go ahead and let's duplicate the glow effect again. And this time around, let's set a glow threshold back to 60%. And let's come here to glow radius and set this up to 230. And let's duplicate it one more time and keep it all settings there. And what's really cool about this glow effect is that you're gonna get multiple variations of the color that you put in here. So you'll see like there's a little bit of yellow and orange in there and that's really nice. And we'll be able to copy these effects later in the video. So now we have our cyberpunk glow color effects in here and we also have a really cool background animation. And before we move further in this tutorial, I wanna give a huge shout out to our After Effects extension that allows us to import hundreds of templates right here in After Effects. So this is our After Effects extension where we have hundreds of templates in it and this is our 100 title pack where we can easily preview animated templates before we apply them. And then when we find a template that we want, we just click on apply and it automatically applies it to our timeline. And we go into this and easily change out our titles and we can easily change our colors and hide titles and other graphics we don't need and resize our graphics. And now we have a full title animation in here based on our own design. Then we can flip over to say our motion graphics starter pack which has 650 templates in here including titles and a ton of other things but we can bring in something called an accent motion motion graphic cluster and with our accent graphics applied we can help bring our composition to the next level with some cool animated details so if you want to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work i will link our after effects packs down below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much so for our third technique we're gonna go ahead and create these overlay glitch graphics here that's going to bring more detail to our overall comp it's really fun to do this all right so what we'll do is go to layer new solid again and we can call it overlay glitch or whatever you want to call it and then we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we'll have fractal noise again. And from here, what we're gonna do is set our fractal type to turbulent basic, okay? We're basic here. And we'll set this to block, beautiful. So we'll come here to contrast, and we'll set this to like 450. Come here to the brightness, and we'll set this to like negative 350. All right, and then we'll open up the transform tab. We'll come here to rotation. We can set this to 90. We'll uncheck uniform scaling. 
and we'll set the scale with up to like 5,100. I know a really crazy number there, but it really needs to be nice and long. And we'll come here to the scale height and we'll set this to 51. Then what we want to do is come here to the beginning of our timeline and add a keyframe for complexity. And we'll move forward by like a few seconds here and we set our complexity down to one. And let's come here to the evolution options and where it says random seed, we're going to alt click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk eight. And this will create a very nice animation in here. All right. And then what we're going to do here following up we're going to grab our layer, hit R on our keyboard for rotation, and we'll set this to 90 degrees. So now this will be vertical, and we need to come here to blend mode and set this to screen. So now we can see what's going on here. But now we need to kind of colorize this and make this pop. So what we'll do is come here to affect color correction curves. And we'll come here to red channel, and we'll go ahead and bring this color down. Come here to the green channel. We can bring this down by a little bit as well. Come here to the blue channel, and we'll bring the top point over to the left. And that'll give us a really creative look here. Then we'll come back here to our glow layer that we created and we'll just copy the first two glow effects and we'll paste it into our layer here and we'll set our glow threshold for our second glow effect just back down to 60%. That looks great. All right, then we'll add one more effect to this. We'll go to effect distort CC lens. Okay, awesome. And we'll set our size to 170 and we'll set our convergence to negative 200. So it should look just like that and that looks good. Now with all of our effects combined together with a title here, this is what we have and we have our overlay glitch above our title layer and we have our background and glow effects underneath our title. All right, so for our last technique, we're gonna go ahead and create this glitch animation with your title or any other graphic that you bring into your comp. So what we're gonna do is we already have a title layer in here and you can go ahead and create any animation that you want i'm not going to go ahead and show a title animation because it would just drag out the tutorial so when you have a title animation of your choice it can be basic grab that title layer and go to layer pre-compose and you can just call it title glitch and move all attributes into new composition click ok all right then we'll go into that title layer that we just pre-composed right there it is and we'll go to layer new solid and we'll call it map and click ok and we'll go to effect noise and grain and we'll add fractal noise again which is the main effect of this tutorial if you haven't noticed and we'll come here to fractal type and this time we'll do max we'll come here to noise type and we'll do block so we did something different every single time but it's pretty much all the same stuff but we'll come here to contrast and we'll set this to 450 come here to brightness and we'll set this to negative 250. all right and then we'll open up the transform tab and we'll uncheck uniform scaling again this time we'll set our scale width to like 1050 somewhere around that range and we'll come here to the scale height and we'll set this to 45. All right, so there's that. And then what we wanna do is come here to the evolution options and I'll click the stopwatch again and we'll type in time asterisk eight once more. So now we just have this glitch map that we'll use here in a second. So what we'll do here is we'll grab our fractal noise layer and we'll go and pre-compose it and we'll just call it map again, move all attributes to new composition and we'll turn it off. All right, we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. Then we'll go to effect, distort, and we'll grab displacement map. Set that first parameter there to your map layer. And now you got some really cool glitches here. So what we'll do is we'll set our max horizontal displacement to zero. And we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll set the max vertical displacement all the way up to say like 90 or so. And we'll add a keyframe for max vertical displacement. So now we'll move forward here by a little bit in our timeline, maybe like two seconds or so. And we'll add a keyframe for max vertical displacement. And we'll set this up to like 95-ish. All right, and then you get that. Awesome. Then we'll move forward by one or so frames and we'll set this down to zero. So then we can actually read what our title is saying. So now we'll get this animation on our title and it's nice and glitching in there. So now our title will be glitching in here as it animates in. And that's really cool. And just to finish off this effect, let's just go to effect, stylize, glow. And we'll just add a basic glow effect to this just so it has a little bit punch to it. I don't want to actually go crazy with it because I want to keep the title readable. So now you should have some really cool cyberpunk motion graphics in your project like so. So that was our tutorial on the cyberpunk motion graphics. Remember, you can take a look at any of our After Effects packs off our website. I will link them below. But if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.